What's up, Buck fans? We're back again with another Tampa Bay Buccaneer film study. Today will be Jason Pierre-Paul, defensive end, defensive tackle, play anywhere you want, edge player. Jason Pierre-Paul was coming off a nasty neck fracture that probably could have cost him his career. People were saying it could have been the season, but comes back and almost gets 10 sacks in 10 games. 6'5", 270, extremely long arms out of the University of South Florida. Plus, tell me what you like about him. Yeah, JPP has always been a favorite of mine. I just like, you know, his demeanor and obviously his press, uh, uh, just his ability to overcome obstacles, whether it be injuries or, you know, he had the injury with the the fireworks and, you know, losing uh, a couple fingers and now, you know, coming off of neck surgery. And we thought, you know, he wasn't going to play at all last season, but, you know, it comes back at the midway point about, you know, week eight and just really just churns it up and, really played outstanding um, to finish with eight and a half sacks um, was really impressive. And he had a 16 quarterback hits. So he was always uh, in the backfield making plays and just really excited to see what he can do with a full season, especially with the defensive line that we have put together, um, but really excited. And I'm really happy he's on our team because he's such a great leader, um, not only in the locker room, but off the field as well. And uh, he's going to be a very big time player for us this season. Exactly, and his ability to play inside, outside. He can play outside linebacker as well. And then just a couple things to note. His first game back, 71%. Second game back, 96% of the snaps he plays. It's just nasty. And the dude wants to be on the field. You have to drag him off the field. But this is why he is the caliber of player he is. He's been known as a sack artist. But let's jump into the film. But before we do, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and let's get into it. Okay, guys, what did Jason Pierre-Paul do his first game back, first quarter of his first game? What does he do? He just gets right back into it and pulls off a sack. Just using that length, using that just aggressive nature. He's just a, a veteran. So, plus, what do you like? Yeah, I mean, it looks like he didn't miss a beat, you know, from his uh, previous season in 2018. I mean, he's just picking up right where he left off and, you know, just destroying smaller, you know, blockers. I mean, there's no match um, – for that right there they're trying to put a tight end on him and he's just going to abuse that does a great job of just getting into the body of the the pulling tight end and then he's just going to walk him back into the quarterback and he's always trying to make a play on the football that's what i like you know trying to be that game changer trying to create turnovers and does a really good job of just finishing and then the celebration is awesome i love that celebration but again the falcons they just didn't you're going to see a lot of highlights against the falcons that o-line just was not good but again, JPP being the aggressor, there's a fumble for a touchdown, but let's go over the actual rush, pass rush first. So Jake Matthews trying to do his best, looking like it's going to be a bull rush. JPP just pushes him back, walks him into the pocket, trying to knock down a pass, just going getting after it. Strip fumble. And who gets it? None other than Dominican Sue. How many touchdowns did he get? Two or three. I mean, that dude was always yeah. around the ball. Yep. But just look at him. He does a great job of really setting up. He makes, you know, he makes the tackle believe that it's going to be a, a power rush here and then does a great job of just transitioning that into a speed rush and does a good job of, you know, ripping down the arms here. Look, see, it looks like he's going to come in to the chest here and then does a great job of just disengaging and then finishing quickly. He's just slippery. I mean, yeah, yeah. he's coming in here. He's going to go grab for that chest plate, right? So right. the left tackle is like, oh, I got to get – my, my feet in the ground, got to prepare for this big hit. And then he's just going to dip that shoulder and rip under yeah. and slide underneath. I mean, it's just hard to get your hands on him. And then you have the big bear over here, Vita Vea with the big X right there. <laughs> you can't throw the ball away either. Nope. And just keeps fighting to get the sack. Yeah, and really good. Here he is on the outside again, coming in, just showing that motor to get after it. I mean, it's not like he made one individual move. It's just how much he went from outside wide nine, chipped by the running back. Okung trying to push him outside. Still not going to stop. Getting after it, getting the sack. Poor Devin White gets robbed of a sack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just really good hustle. You're always going to see that with JPP. Here, I mean, this is just abusing, like you said, the Falcons offensive line. Going up against a rookie there in McGarry, and he just has no chance. And this ends up being a really big play for the defense as it becomes a touchdown. 
I mean, setting the edge, yes. But just look how bad this offensive lineman's hips are. He's just literally, he's going to turn his whole body. He's facing Matt Ryan. I mean, Matt Ryan, yes, I guess he could have stepped up. But still, like, this is just JPP abusing, yes, a lesser player, getting his hands on the ball, and then thank you, Devin White, scoring a touchdown. Mm-hmm. And he's going to run down with him. <laughs> <laughs> Again, hey. abuse. Yeah, I mean, that's just too easy. I mean, he's just going to, yeah, fake it outside. He's going to come back inside. Again, nice use of the hands. I mean, using those long arms. And then just, yeah, he's going to kill <laughs> and get it. And it's, yeah, like you said, illusion is going to be an outside rush. Plant your foot down in the ground. Jet inside, swat aggressively inside yeah, I shoulder. Mean, you see the tackle there. Just look how much he oversets. Right. You know, because he's expecting the outside rush. So he's already off, off balance. He already lost. And JPP knows it. Guard can't and, recover. Right. And then finishing. True. This guy had a broken neck, huh? Fractured neck. Dirty. Yeah, doesn't look doesn't look like it. Here again, just he's just abusing the right side. So we're talking about speed pass rusher, but now we're gonna talk about bull pass rush. So he just mauls this right tackle right over. Yeah. Just get, pretty much bench presses him back and yeah, just creates space and then look how he gets low. And then finishes, you know, the sack. <laughs> and here he is on the outside. Now I think this is Laramie Tunsil. Beats him inside. Still gets after it. Gets the sack. But again, against any other team, this is terrible leverage. I mean, look how much space you have inside. JPP is obviously going to go find that space, jump inside. He's beat. Just Deshaun Watson so far back in the pocket. Puts on the brakes. And gets after it. Yeah, really good. I mean, he's just, he's got it all here again, you know, just, uh, yeah, just abusing. They're trying to put tight ends on him. I mean, that's just not going to work. <laughs> and then just the hustle. I mean, look how much he's going after. He, like, tight ends trying to push him inside, spin move off of him. He keep pushing him back. Yeah. The tight end did nothing. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I mean, he got pushed back at least six yards. So he got pushed back into Deshaun. And Deshaun's already seven yards back. And then... Yeah, just finishing the play. Really impressive. Thank you, tight end. Okay, so this is just purely disgusting. So you have JPP right here in the inside. He, he playing the three technique. Look what he does to a slower, just slower a foot guard. This fake, ooh, that's not fair. Yeah. I mean, the quarterback has to just throw it to the dirt. I mean, basically he's already there once the quarterback gets the ball. I mean, it's it's just very impressive, and that's where I think you'll see him play more this season, um, especially inside where he can take advantage of these slower guards, and I mean, he's just got too much length for them to handle. Yeah, reaching for air. Yep. And then look at the celebration. I'm just too damn good. What y'all doing? <laughs> so we saw JPP getting after the quarterback, so he's still going to get after it. But if he doesn't get there, he has those long arms, so he's going to put them to good use. So he's just rushing the pass, knocks the ball down. Russell Wilson gets a little push on the ground as well. QB hit. Good job. So, again, length. Atlanta just poor blocking, using length again, knocking the ball down. What do you like? Yeah, again, he's just he's so uh, – t- he just has a lot of fight. I mean, he just doesn't give up a lot of motor that he provides and then just always continuing to move forward. And, again, using those those long arms. I mean, he just – he abuses people. Like you said, fight. I mean, yes, they're trying to put bodies on him to slow him down. A fullback here, a tight end dragging across again, just trying to hold him up. But that kind of stuff tires a guy out. But he's just fighting through it. And then Carlton yeah. Davis almost picks it off. Yeah, he's just very feisty. He's got that um, tenacity that you like to see. Um, and, again, here – I mean, just continue. Look how many moves he made there. Same exact thing, but opposite side. So you have JPP here. Right. Fullback's going to chip him. He's going to come across. This tight end's going to drag yet again. Two guys blocking JPP. Chip, get him off of me. Come around. Tight end's going to try. Matt Ryan sees him. So does JPP react, spin him off, get away from me. True. Yeah, I mean, that's really good. I mean, yeah. You know, just the change of direction that he has. I mean, he can just change quickly on a dime and six, be five, able to move. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just super athletic. Here pretty, again, you, you pretty know, much you our stop. whole defensive line wins here, though. Yeah, I mean, Devin White, we, we pretty Wilson. much yeah we pretty much had our way against Atlanta's offensive line all year last year, and again, JPP doing a great job. Can't get there, gets his hands up, and a nice you know. And then here, look at this in coverage. Yeah. So I said, do it all outside linebacker, right? Mm-hmm. So here he is. He's going to drop back into space. Again, like we, we've we mentioned with other players, just read what's in front of you. We're in his own. JPP, 6'5", 270 in space. Running back gets it. Athletic enough to get down on him and bring him down. Yep. Yep, really good. All right, now we're here, talking run support. Yeah, run defense. Really strong. You can't chip at him he's just gonna loot it he just finds a way to get skinny and slides right in and gets him yeah i've seen it you know as we've seen in this game tape they're trying to pull guys and you know double and that's just not going to work against jpp or you know just don't block him at all <laughs> and you know he's he's gonna make the play maybe he's that'll just, work he's, yeah he's just too talented but i mean i guess I'm, they're just assuming he's gonna pass rush all the way in he's gonna be too aggressive but right Veteran moved, stay, read the play, make a play on the yep. ball. Mm-hmm. This is him. Yeah. Okay, if you're not noticing where he's at, right here, he's just going to dispose of everyone that's in front of him. Let it play out. One, two, make a play. Helena Fournette getting thrown around like a rag doll. One, yeah. two, boom. And you, you know the way the Bucks play defense. I mean, that's kind of the matchups that he's going to get. You see a lot of tight ends blocking him, you know, one on one, and that's a strength to us because the, of the guys we have up front here again, just abusing. And that's just yeah, it's really good. Yeah, goal line stance. I mean, we're not just small. Mm. Our whole defensive line is pretty big, actually. Right. And this is an outside linebacker. It's this big. Yeah. Thank you, JBP. Again, so run support. This time he's at that three technique standing up right here, middle of your screen. Run down, too fast for offensive guards. And he's getting down hill, making a play on the ball. Yeah, just watch. I mean, you see again, using that length of his arms, he just pushes uh, McGarry to the side. I mean, he just stops him right in his tracks. And I like how he has one hand here, base, yep. pushing, base. So pretty much McGreary's pushing him into the guard, which he's stabilizing on top of and then making the play. Yep. Totally controlled, balanced, everything. Again, three tech. What are you doing? Get off the ground. Making mm-hmm. a play. I mean, JPP, it does a little bit of everything, plays a little bit of everywhere, and just let's stay healthy. I know he just had a knee scope on his knee. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we have a season for he can make more plays like this. Plus, anything else you want to give? Yeah, I mean, JPP is just, he's a really key part of this defense, as you can see, and does a really good job of just uh, being very consistent. And he does a really good job of doing it really well. And uh, I'm excited for what he's going to bring this season. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, be sure to, you know, like, comment, and subscribe below. And we appreciate you.